Hey, welcome. Today we're going to put that black pipe on a hot water recirculation line. Let me start off by telling you why. We have an on-demand hot water heater here located in the basement. Well, we have up here on this side a master bathroom of the house, and on this side we have a, um, our kids' bathroom. So the issue is that this has to come up out and then get over here, and with an on-demand system, all of the water, or not even an on-demand system, the water in that pipe cools down. So if I um, remember correctly, if you have like a three-quarter inch uh, PEX piping, a three-quarter inch PEX piping, 100 feet has 1.83 gallons of water in it. So in our case, over here for the kids, this run ends up totaling, it doesn't obviously go that way, but it ends up totaling about 50 feet. That means we're looking at 0.9 gallons of water that would have to be flown through or flow through this uh, in order to go out before we would even start getting hot water. That's a, that's a long time, it's inconvenient, and it's a use of a lot of extra water. So what can we do to eliminate that problem is we can install what's called a recirculation line and now we have this loop and what happens is then off of that loop we have this going to the fixture here this going to the fixture here and then it also comes off to our kitchen um, sink off of that so what the recirculation loop does is it pushes hot water through it, and our hot water heater has a particular, this one's got to come back over, our hot water heater has a pump in it that will push this through, and apparently it has some technology that even kind of tries to learn the schedule of times, the common times, so it starts to push just a little bit of water through, moving in this way. Wonderful. Accomplishes one thing, creates another problem. That problem is, is we're heating this water and that water is going out and if it's in the summertime, we're having a condition, you may have the air conditioner on and now you're kind of working against yourself. One of the awesome things about YouTube is how much information you get for it. That's why I started this channel was because I had learned so much from other people in the process of considering about building and just other projects about owning a property, maintaining those things. And it was so valuable to me. And in this particular case, I want to give a shout out to my friend Jeremiah who said, hey, are you going to insulate that recirc line? So I'm going to use this um, black uh, insulation here. There's two versions of this. Uh, there's one that is self-sealing, and then there's just the one that is pre-split. The pre-split one, you got to kind of pull it apart yourself. The self-sealing one is about a dollar more for a six-foot one, and uh, so I want with the ones that are not self-sealing because we got about 120 feet of pipe that we need to insulate. So let's get to it. And so I've got these um, clamps here holding it in place so I'm just gonna I'm going over it here um, with this and what I'll do is go back to the seams uh, and get some uh, heat heat tape and just or not heat tape but you know pipe tape and wrap the seams at pipes and then in those spots where they hit these things where there's a little bit of openness there just put a little tape around that to get as much of a seal as we can so you get a glimpse of what I mean by these areas where they're fastened there. There's that support and it's pulled apart. So these are the areas to tape. Um, we've got a joint there. So I'll have to get that one. So as you look around here, um, it's going well. And I've done this whole long run. It goes pretty quick with the scaffolding and uh, going to bring that back. But I just wanted to show you the sort of the challenge with some of these details. That's where um, might even be worth doing a little relief cut in the insulation, um, but we'll see what we can do with tape to pull it together there on there um, for it. Obviously, if you are cutting, you wanna be incredibly careful 
that you're not doing any cutting in the direction of the pipe. Pull it off, make the cut there. You don't want to put a hole in your pecs at this point in the process. Take a look at how beautiful that sunset is. Wow. Wow. Glory to God. Oh, the camera doesn't do it justice. So shout out to the YouTube community for helping people learn. Shout out to my friend Jeremiah. Thank you so much for the tip on this. Um, just putting it in my brain to help me know how to do it. And uh, I just want to thank you so much for watching these videos. Every comment is so appreciated. It's been such an encouragement to me. I've learned so much. I love sharing. And I love learning from people on the journey because you don't know what you don't know. And I had totally forgotten about this insulation thing. So it was, you know, a comment from someone on here that helped me do it. Looking out, saving us money. We're going to have less energy on it and better performance. And um, that, you know, it just doesn't get better than that. So thanks for being here. Thanks for checking this one out. We'll see you next time.